Okay, so the mojo is here. Ulrun. Hello, Ulrun. Oh, he's like double stunned. Let's go for him. He's in trouble. Am I in trouble now? Oh, I am in trouble. All right, all right. Juke time. Let's go. Let's go. What is it? The ghost hits. Oh, we got the blink. We got the blink. Come here. Alrighty then. Look at that healing from the pools. I feel like I'm in the fountain right now. What is up beautiful people, it's Celadon here, welcome back to my channel. Today we're playing Kamazas Jungle in Conquest. One of the strongest jungle right now in my opinion. Easily A plus or S tier. And now you will see why. We're accompanied here by a weird pickup for a mid lane. It's Hercules. But we're not- oh, that's very unfortunate, clear. I'm not sure now if I'm able to give him the experience. Yeah, easily. Because my clear is just so good. Looks like Anubis is having trouble in solo lane. We have a very weird solo lane and very weird mid pickup. Uh, using Hog here for faster clear, something that I forgot to mention. This is one of the things that I'm trying right now. So far this item looks pretty useless, but sometimes people invade and it's good to have it. Looks like Anubis is not- oh, I missed the middle minion, which is unfortunate. We have only one stock of our buff. Let's wait for Sir Cat to do stuff. Maybe she'll start clearing these up. Yeah, she does. Let's go. I'm trying to harass her most of all. We traded one on one and she got a lot of poke. But I kind of wanted to box her, so I also used my pot, which is not the best thing ever. Hercules is dropping the red buff. Looks like Anubis got soloed, which is unfortunate, but it's understandable. They have ADC and solo lane, and I'm gonna abuse that fact a little bit later. Let's go for Persephone here, she's in trouble. Ooh. Oh, he's still going. Nice. <laughs> what, a, what a man. This man has some big dick energy is what I like to see. We got double kill in the mid lane and we're a little bit ahead. No, not even close. We're actually behind. Funny. We're gonna drop this. I'm pretty sure that the red buff was down. Gonna heal up over here for some mana. For those I cannot see. This will allow us to continue the farm with no problem whatsoever. We're gonna go for our smalls now. Be Going full item transcendence, uh, first item transcendence of course, but right after we finish our power boots. Also the power boots is probably on Kamazos is the only god that I actually go power boots right now. Well, not the only god, but one of the very, very few. Everyone else are just doing better with attack speed boots, no matter what you do. But the scaling some camo abilities is just too insane to ignore it. I'm gonna go straight for the blue buff after this. Try to secure it and maybe even look for a gank, because this is Ulr in solo lane. Which is a really bad pickup for a solo lane. We have all three stacks of our passive. He's he's pushing up. He's pushing up. Yeah, he's pushing up. Let's go for him. Right back. Oh, he just jumped. He is so dead. It's not even funny. There you go. We give our Anubis some breathing room. Look at this region. Holy shit. We are full HP in mana, and we can continue the farm. Although, it would be a better idea for me to back for boots because look at my gold. I already have way over boots of gold. So it gets coming this way. Unfortunately, I missed, but we got one. Let's poke her out a little bit. We're gonna back right after this, so it's fine. Let's do one, two, three, some damage. I was hoping for Hercules to follow up with an ultimate. Am I gonna get caught here? I cannot run away. I have no boots and no mana. My two's coming up, my two's coming up, my two's coming up. There you go. <laughs> Good shit. I was afraid that she's gonna do more damage than I can handle, but my three level passive, if I had passive level two here, I would have definitely died. But that just allows me to, oh, hello Yem. What you doing? 
kind of kill me while I stand over here. I'm literally even gonna back right over here and you can't do shit about it. So Camazots, I'm not sure what's exactly is happening. Oh, Anubis is so in order, but it's just so, so works for me. He's an amazing god and I'm not sure if the meta had changed or he was always that good or it's just my play style, but I just like Camazots, man. He is, feels so strong. One of my most favorite junglers this season, really. If you don't uh, haven't picked the oh Anubis is in trouble, let's book her away. Otherwise, she's gonna murder the man. Good stuff. She noticed me. She just backed away. I whiffed all my abilities, but it doesn't even matter as long as Anubis is there and alive. Wasn't able to renew my passive, but it's fine. Uh, he got some buffs right lately. Like his passive is not going out when he dies. Let's catch her over well, here yes, and try to poke lower a little bit. Oh, she turned and she has no mana. Why would you turn here, girl? She's gonna be slowed. One, two, good stuff. Wasn't really sure that that second auto attack. Oh, Anubis is getting soloed now. What an interesting dynamic they have there. He's waiting for me. Come on, I'm over here. Get a stun, so we ult immediately. Nothing you can do about that. We catch his jump, and I could have jumped in here, but there was a chance that he might have stunned me. And I would be in a bad spot. But with this approach, there's no wiggle room for him. Let's drop the totem. An ally has fallen. You see, that's the problem with ADCs and mages in the solo lane. I cannot jump this, can I? Is that I can just come in there, and if you're not under a tower, you're dead. Unless you're like very, very, very fat in the head. But the thing is, if I keep track of you, you cannot get to that point where I just come in and die instead of killing you. I'm gonna get there, I'm gonna kill you every time, and there's nothing you can do about that. Looks like Sobek has joined us in mid lane, which is nice. Because Emoja's been there since level 4, I believe, which is also a misplay. But she was annoying. Let's secure the blue buff in case her cat wants to play dumb. Renew our passive. Perfect. Thanks. Come on, bitch. You wanna fight me? Nah, it doesn't look that way. Looks like Hercules is in trouble. A lot of people collapse in there. Yep. Let's look for Persephone. Jumping in, she's dead. Is she? Yep, she's dead. It's fine. We got what we wanted. Uh, counter kill. Oh, Wolron. Oh, he's getting solo. Hello, sir. Cat, what's up? Wanna play around? We keep within our abilities, which isn't fun. Gonna back off. Your right tower. Under Why is there one mini down? <laughs> what is this? I'm pretty high HP mana. I'm gonna look at Olaron here. Should be out of position. Sure. This is down, unfortunate. I can hear him. Is he still in lane? Hmm, was I warded? Oh, he's still in lane. He's very, very dead. Hello. Okay, he's juking in the minions, and there's actually quite a bunch of them. I'm having trouble here. I have some AoE attacks, and I keep missing those. Oh, they got the ultimate. We have ultimate of our own. He should be dead here. No way around it. I missed the last one, but it's fine. It's fine. There was nowhere for him to go. He was way too deep for all run. The only chance he had, he just kept running and ulted while on the range of the tower. Looks like Anubis is getting collapsed on, which is expected. Their ult should be raging by the amount of time I spent on his ass. But, like, what you gonna do, man? You picked up the Hunter into solo lane, not me. They also dropped their blue buff, which saves me a little bit of time. I want to kinda... Oh, what a jerk move. I kinda wanted to just take a timer. Let's push up the lane, I think. So far, Anubis wasn't very useful. Let's 
let's check up at the mid lane. This blue buff is definitely down. Right These smalls missing. might be up. Let's check up on them. Good stuff. Attack. Looks like Anubis wants to go for the Pyromancer. Uh, this is always down. Very unfortunate. Let's go for the Pyromancer. Might be not a bad idea. He is Anubis after all. We can kill Ur here and then do that. Is he jumping in? Oh no, he just straight up face tanking the Anubis ult. Let's kill him. Yet again, nothing he can do about that. Unless I'm like extremely derping. There's really no way I can miss that ultimate. It's way too fast when you click it. It's just almost instantaneous. Like with Habla ult. You you don't juke it, you miss it. We're gonna be building Iron Knight next item. Let's slow her down, nothing we can do about that besides a little bit of poke. We're gonna be building Iron Knight next item because I find that after those ultimates, if you engage with those, Iron Knight is very strong. Also after that, I'm pretty sure I will go Soul Eater because I do insane amount of damage with my abilities. Oh, what you doing, man? What you doing? Get over here. Oh, that's a very slow jump. I'm not in trouble here, even though she ulted. Let's trust Sobic that he can pull him. Okay, okay. We trusted him, he pulled it, but beads are beads. Let's see if I can kill him here. Okay. Ah, oh, fucking shell. I can still kill him, I think. Well, unfortunate. I'm dead. I got a little bit ahead of myself. Oh, shit. I need to shut up in moments like this, I guess. <laughs> we have our R and Knight online, and we're gonna go for Soul Eater next item, because like I was trying to say before all on, my abilities do insane amount of damage, and if they lifesteal as well, it's very effective. Go for Persephone here, nothing she can do about that. I have a speed buff, she's dead. Oleron should be dead as well. I'm finally gonna get the man, like I wanted. He's in a very, very dumb spot. Oh, I'm with my two, but it doesn't change anything. I smack for like quarter of his health with one auto attack. Looks like my team are harassing each other, which is unfortunate. Not something like you like to see. Let's see. Sir Cat, hello? No, it's Ulr. Oh, I whiffed both of my abilities. <laughs> we need to bail like big time. Yep, yep. He's following. He's chasing. We have Blink. Yeah, he's chasing pretty well. I'm gonna Blink out. He earned that, so I'm gonna give it to him. Going all the way around, not lazy back and not risking it. We grab a couple words. Uh, we're gonna pay a visit to our man Olran yet again. It's pretty easy to shut down, so we're gonna Enemy use that. Or the gold fear over here, just in case. I'll get Enemy missing. Enemy missing. Enemy spotted. Yep. Considering that Holy was choking lately, I decided to just secure that fight. Let's put some damage into this woman. This thick woman. Are we in trouble? Somebody else is coming? She's being very weird, so somebody else is totally coming. Hey, Sir Ked, hello. I should bail. Sobek should also bail, but he just goes in. Let's accompany the man. I'm safe as long as I have my ult. What the hell is this damage, man? That damage is not okay. Gonna heal up on those pools while Sobek kills himself. It's fine. Just heal up to full and try that again. Feeling like a Cronus right now. Is she coming in? Let's jump. Nope, she's not even close. Oh, this looks ugly. This looks very ugly. Ooh, got her. Okay, so you mojo's here. Ulron. Hello, Ulron. Oh, he's like double stunt. Let's go for him. He's in trouble. Am I in trouble now? 
Oh, I am in trouble. All right, all right, juke time. Let's go, let's go. What is it, the ghost hits? Oh, we got the Blake, we got the Blake. Come here. Alrighty then. Look at that healing from the pools. I feel like I'm in the fountain right now. Damn, that was hilarious. Yeah, the healing of my abilities with the Blood Forge would have been even better, but just the fair occasion that a lot of people died in that corner, I was able to juke it out while regenerating all of my health and mana at the same time. I mean, when, when the stars align, they just align, man. That was very satisfying. Okay, Sir Cat just jumped, which is nice. Let's get her to some extent. She still doesn't have any jumps or whatever. We got an ult. Hmm, we got her ult. I, I mean, unfortunate that we didn't kill her, but. Oh, hello, Ulr. What's up? Slowing down, now we can run. He is in trouble. Oh, that pluck. He would have got out, probably, or at least got killed by Hercules. I don't know why they left Persephone like that, but I'm gonna chase her down. She just jumped away and they just let her go. Oh, Yamoja is there. Got that stack of power, which is nice, but needless. Hello, Olrun. Ooh, I, I th oh my god, what's up with that damage? Looks like we have Hercules and Nubis AFK, that's very really nice. My team has successfully defended the Phoenix, which is nice, but just the overall lack of presence at <laughs> that engagement is something not to write home about. Ooh, who is out of position. He's as dead as the day is long. Hello. What's up? He tried to jump from a bow stance. I know that feeling, bro. That's why I don't play with myself. I just suck at him so much. I would rather my team attack Go Fury while I clean up the jungle. Be very funny about it instead, huh? Good stuff. Gonna clean up this wave. Look at that blue buff. Oh, hello, blue buff. Gonna get back to the mid. These mids harpies might be up. By the way, we're almost level 20 and less than and well a little bit over 20 minutes, which is nice. Let's see if this circuit wants to fight. Ooh, she really does want to fight. I burned my beast for no reason, but she has no jump. Am I gonna be able to? Ooh, good jukes. Like I said, you don't juke that. <laughs> but she kind of did, because it was such a narrow place. Sobek really saved my ass there with that shell. We're gonna back off. Actually, no. The, the lane's over there. We have Soul Eater. An enemy has been Oh, wait, it's not stacked yet, just yet. We are not really healing enough of our abilities, don't we? But the pull over here is gonna give me enough to sustain through the next fight if they come this way. An ally has just tanking the tower for the boys. We should really bail. They should stop running. They stand they're turning. I hate that. Herc is dead. I also have a chance to die now that I stayed for them. Can burn my blink. Is she following? Yeah, let's go. She cannot chase me down as much anymore. They're going for fire. Probably gonna take it. Nothing we can do about it, really. But I'm full HP. Let's see. 
Can I actually do stuff? I think I can. Let's focus on the old one right here. Maybe something good will come out of it. Oh my god, he's healing so much. That was a mistake. I shouldn't be dead here. Oh my god. Yeah, that was, that was a bad decision. Should have focused the fire giant at least try to steal it. So it gets out of position? She just blinked into the tower range, huh? She's gonna straight up murder her. Go for Persephone here, she cannot get out. She just jumped. Very easy to shut down. I healed up more than the older damage <laughs> because I got stunned inside my pool. That's funny. They both seem to be backing. Like, really actually backing. Odin's way out of position. Going straight for that man. Is he already dead? Looks like he is. Okay. But those slow animations on the Hui's jump are very funny. Bad pull by Sobek. Let's go around. We have a blink. We're gonna blink on the order here. Oh, I'm with my two, unfortunately. Zoned him away enough, so we're gonna get that tower. Can heal up over here. Retreat. My team seem to be willing to push further, but we can't really do that. We should go for Gold Fury. Hopefully they'll listen. Then reach. Oh, she actually walked into my jump. Slow down a little. Reached him with my one, very fortunate. Gonna go for Persephone here. Oh, the stun. Those goddamn stuns from Umoja all the time, and my team just focusing on support is very, very unfortunate. Looks like my team are harassing each other, which is expected. This Hoi is trying to give advice as well being 2 9. It's something that will probably trigger a lot of people. My passive had just two minutes on it. I should have renewed it here. That was a mistake. So, uh, first time on the guard by trying to teach other people. Oh, left lane is in trouble. Oh, left lane is in trouble. Let's go for Ur here. Heal up. Go for the ultimates. We now have Heartseeker and over 400 power. We, we really do some damage, some nasty damage. Look at that healing. Just look at it. It's not even funny. Attack, fire giant. I have one and a half minute to find a buff to renew my passive, and I don't think I will be able to. What is it out of position? Hold on, hold on, is out of position. Puller, she beast as well. That was very bad beats. We have beats for her shit, so we're gonna get out of it. Still looking at that Oleron. No words in the fire giant from them. She's looking to deal some damage to me apparently, but that's not gonna happen. Okay, Oleron's out of position. Good damage, he's, he's dead. Wait, why is he not dead? What the hell was that? Was that his lifesteal? But I have beat stick. Damn. We have a greater or relics. We have a purple pot. Oh wait, it's not a purple pot. It's a red pot. It's always red pot now, huh? All right. So we have a red pot. We <laughs> have full build. We have not replaced our boots yet, but I decided to go with upgrade relics because of the amount of gold I had. Unfortunately, while I was dead, I missed my passive. So we're going to renew that over here. Hopefully this blue buff is also up. So we're going to have two stacks. Hello, Persephone. What's up? How you doing? That's her ult. I can ult out of it. She should be dead here, no problem. That's her Aegis as well. Walk out of the Emoja ult. Thank you. Now you're running. Let's play tag. Ulr is looking at me, but he stopped for it, so he's dead. Is this game? If we kill her, that should be game. Actually, if we don't kill her, it should also be game. She's a support. Stop. Yep, yep, yep. I'm going straight for the Titan. Circuit alone cannot do it a whole lot. Our whole team is there. We have a lot of. They have a lot of towers up, but it should be the game. 
so big as positioning himself properly, his damage is not very really viable. Yep. And this is gonna be the game. I'm gonna tank it for the rest of it. 16, 5, and 14 were a part of 30 kills out of 42, which is probably as close to the perfect game as you might want. Well, that sucked. We're obviously starting with Transcendence, going for the Power Boots and Iron Diet because I find out it's pretty good after the Kamazot's ult, Soul Eater because I wanted that insane lifesteal and it's really fun to play that. Brawler's Beast Stick obviously, Ur is having some lifesteal, Persephone is healing a lot, Emoja is somewhat a healer, all around healing is just insane. We're going for Heartseeker to drive the point home with our power, 437 power is insane, we have full CDR, pretty good. In terms of damage here, 33 K on top of 24 Sir Cat. I owe damage her but quite significant amount considering that's a very even game. Our solo laners both suck ass and deal barely any damage. Supports are pretty much the same level. Our ADC is getting out damaged by almost twice the amount. And our mid laners are somewhat the same. Even though Hercules had a lot more kills, it was a, a lot more impactful. In terms of wards, I put down 12 and our support put down 15. Our ADC and mid obviously put down 4. Which is really really bad it barely covers the free warding they get to level 12 and our soul laner actually put down just two more which is well 3.6 not bad not terrible the enemy team as you can see put down adc2 solo laner 3 and support actually put down less than their mid which is a really really bad indicator and yeah guys that will be the game it's kamazot jungle a plus or even S tier jungler easily. One of the best jungle characters in the game right now. He just have so many things going for him this season. I really, really enjoy playing him. And if you want to excel some in jungle gameplay, pick him up. He's really easy to play, but really, really effective. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, it helps me immensely. If you want to ask me a question, leave a comment, I'm responding to every single comment on my channel. If you like the video, please leave a like on the video. And as always, I hope to see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.